Welcome to Expert Subjects Weekly Podcast. This week's podcast is to inspire you as a writer to get your work out of your desk drawer or off your computer and get it published. Writing as an art form is so very different from other artistic expressions. When a painter creates a rich oil painting, he or she can hang it in a gallery or sell it at a fair or post it on Facebook or Fine Art America where the painting gets immediate attention and immediate response, or even sold for that matter. For a person to look at a painting or a photograph, it takes only a few minutes of time, and most anyone can spare a few minutes. A songwriter can take his or her song, play it for a group of friends on a Friday night around the fire pit, or perform at an open mic, or even upload to Facebook or YouTube for thousands of listeners to hear. Again, if a person is willing to give five minutes of his or her time, the song can play out and the composer can hear, hey, that was really sweet. For those of us who write, you know the challenges we are up against. Reading is a real investment of time and focused energy. For many, it just isn't a daily or even a weekly happening. We are all busy with school, work, friends, recreation. There are so many other interests to fill our time, movies, TV, music, social media, where does a novel or even a short story fit in? I have many friends with homes filled with stacks of magazines. They intend to read on a rainy day or vacation, but inevitably they pass on the magazines or recycle them before they've even cracked the glossy spine. This is not meant to discourage, but to say, work hard on your writing so that when someone does venture into your prose, and take the time from this chaotic life. He or she will be floored and want to keep reading. But what else is essential? After you've honed your craft and gotten it as polished as it can be, you need to get the writing to places it can be read. There is no good that will come out of your work sitting year after year where it cannot be read. Just as a painter should not fill a warehouse with his unseen paintings, you should not let your work be unseen. As a student, you can publish in your school newspaper and magazines or journals. If there aren't any such publications, you can begin one of your own with the help of a faculty advisor. Anyone can submit their work to online publications, and there are so many to choose from. There's surely one that is suitable for your genre. There are print publications too, and even though the competition is fierce, if you select carefully, you can find the appropriate literary, commercial, and small magazines. There are literary agents and publishers, both big and small, as well as ebook publishers and self publishing. You can post your work on your own writer's website, have links to your Facebook or LinkedIn accounts, and all these places are there for you to be read. So good luck. Write well, write often, and get your work out there. For more information and inspiration on publishing, please read this week's article on expert subjects. Thank you for tuning in.